In Excel, there are some keyboard shortcuts that can be used for different purposes. So this video is about three Excel shortcuts with multiple uses. In Excel, the keyboard shortcut Control D has two uses. And the first one is copying data into the cells below. See the cell here. We have a formula in the cell. Now to copy this formula into the cells below, select the cell containing formula and the cells where you want to copy it. Now press Control D and the formula is copied into the cells below. Now to copy this number and text into the cells below, select the cells containing data and the cells where you want to copy it. Control D. The shortcut Control D also can be used to create duplicates of objects. To create a copy of this Excel chart, select the chart. Control T. And we have a copy of the selected chart. To create a copy of this picture, select the picture. Control T. In Excel, the keyboard shortcut Control A has at least four uses. First one is Select All. We'll select this cell. Control A. Enter table is selected. Again, Control A, Enter table is selected. And if I press Control A once again, Enter worksheet will be selected. That means pressing Control A two times will select the Enter worksheet. Control A, Enter table is selected. Control A, Enter worksheet is selected. And also if I select a cell that is surrounded by blank cells and press Control A, Enter worksheet will be selected. Control A also can be used to select all objects in an Excel worksheet. See this worksheet here. We have a text box, three icons, an Excel chart, and a picture. Let me select one of these objects. Now when I press Control A, all objects in this worksheet will be selected. We'll select this picture. Control A. Again, all objects in this worksheet are selected. Now the third use of Control A. While using Excel functions, Control A can be used to activate the function arguments dialog. Let me show you what I mean. We have a list of fruits here. Now to count those cells containing the word apple, equal, count if function, open parentheses. Now when I press Control A, see the function arguments dialog box is activated. The arguments of this function are defined here. And these input boxes can be used to define these arguments. For example, to define range, we'll select these cells. Criteria, Apple will be the criteria, double quotes, Apple, double quotes. And we have the formula result here, 4. Let me change it to grape. and the result updated. Again, we look up, open parentheses, control A, and the function arguments dialog box is activated. Look up value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. Now the fourth use of control A, the shortcut control A can be used to select the entire content of a cell. See, we have a text in this cell. Double click on this cell. Control A. See, the entire content of this cell is selected. Escape. This cell is having a formula. Now, to select the entire content of this cell, double click. Control A. Control C to copy. Escape. Double click. Control V to paste. Again, this cell is having data in four different lines. Now to select the entire content of this cell, double click, Control A. Again, Control A. One of the two uses of the keyboard shortcut F4 is repeating last action. Let me change the background color of the cells. We'll make it green. So applying green background color was my last action. Now to repeat that action for this entire column, 
we'll select the cells F4 and green background color has been applied to the selected cells again F4 we'll change the font color of the cells applying red font color was my last action now to repeat that action we'll select the cells F4 The shortcut F4 can also be used to toggle through relative, absolute and mixed references. Let me show you what I mean. Equal A1. Right now we have a relative reference here. Press F4. See dollar signs have been added before the column and row indexes and the relative reference has now become an absolute reference. Again F4. Now the dollar sign is only before the row index. This type of reference is called a mixed reference. Again F4. Now the dollar sign is before the column index of the reference. And this type of reference is also called a mixed reference. Again F4. Back to relative reference. Again F4. Absolute reference. F4. Mixed reference with row locked. F4. Mixed reference with column locked. Back to relative reference. Now let's see how to use the shortcut while writing a formula. We have a kind of sample bill here with the discount percentage in the cell, 8%. Now to calculate the discounted price, equal amount multiplied by open parenthesis 1 minus discount percentage, close parenthesis, enter. We have the discounted price. Now if we copy this formula into the cells below, some of these cells are going to throw an error and of course we won't get the desired results. And this happened because we copied the formula without locking the cell reference with discount percentage. Let's rewrite the formula. Equal amount multiplied by open parenthesis 1 minus discount percentage. F4. See dollar signs have been added before the column and row indexes. Close parenthesis. Enter. Copy the formula into the cells below. As the cell reference containing discount percentage has been locked, we have the desired results.